What's going on, guys? So, today we got some Gaia Green Soluble Seaweed Extract 0017. So, the potash in this is just beautiful. So, we're gonna do. We're gonna be feeding it five, but almost five gallons for the big pot today. And uh, we're gonna be using the soluble seaweed extract and molasses with rainwater. I've let it dry out a couple days just to do this. I don't know if this works or it's a good idea or what, but it's worked for me in the past. And then after this, we're gonna make a compost tea and hammer it again tomorrow. We'll start the compost tea tonight and we'll hammer it again tomorrow and we're gonna soak the shit out of it. Feed the nutrients and then, add, or feed the ones that are in it, the organisms, and then we're gonna throw a whole bunch more in tomorrow with the compost tea. So stay tuned for that. That'll be in tomorrow. We're gonna do two episodes or two shows two things back to back hasn't been like that in a while but we're going to and then we got the clone one coming out still working on it i gotta wait on something so i haven't done the clones they're still sitting in water bad i know i'm not worried i can cut more off so we're gonna add some of this we got a little bit of water in here already just a little bit So we're just going to add a little bit of this to it. And it says uh, directions dissolve one teaspoon in one gallon. So this thing holds two. So. This is a little more than a teaspoon. So. Oh, this might actually be the teaspoon. This is the teaspoon. So we're going to put one of these and a little bit more. Do that. So we add that to a little bit of water. Give it a good shake. And that's when we add this. I like to add about a tablespoon of molasses. That will free for it. I hope watch these, but they have the information's out there, and uh, I keep sharing, I keep talking, and hopefully we get more people on Hive. Community slowly growing. So let's check out the inside of the tent here. Wow! So I know it's been a few days. This is what we're getting with. Got the marigolds killing it. Got the uh, freak show. They're so slow growing. So slow growing. We got one of the BMAX here. Let's see if we can sex it. I'm not thinking so yet. It's not a BMAC, it's a Riz Mick. Mick Rizla. Let's see. We got some serious problems with some uh, pests. Wait for. Stuff from a buddy to get rid of help get rid of it along with what I'm doing, but I think I gotta do some more. So let's see. What do we got? I'm still saying male, and I haven't cut it down yet because I'm just not sure. But uh, this beauty. 
she is looking killer. So again, I dried them out. I know you shouldn't, but it is what it is there. Let's see if we can get you to stand up pretty easily. There we go. One thing we're gonna do. Got a big hair with some leaves in it. And these are gonna be going to the garbage. So we're gonna cut these lower branches here. You can't see what I'm doing. So I'm cutting out and all the lower branches to help mitigate things being able to get to them from the soil. And kind of lollipopping, I guess, is what we'll call it. Because we're going to let them grow taller. So, show you after what I did. We really got to do it to this one. So, we're just chopping the lower stuff off. I think we're going to go this low. Yeah. Ow, oh, caught my finger. I think that's a good idea. Oh, I did get it. Got it good. We'll be right back. We gotta get a band aid. Alright, so now that I got the freaking band aid on, I really don't feel like dripping blood everywhere. It hurts, so watch out for your snips while you're doing this. So, I'll just do it to this. Backwards low over here as well. There we go. And I thought about doing it. Yeah, we're gonna I'll just chop this one. That one off there. Let's even go with this one here. They said, so we're gonna lollipop. Still got, if it does turn to be female, we still got some good spots. And then this thing. This thing is huge and out of control. So. Some lower leaves, and I think we're even gonna do it to the marigold. This thing grew so weird. I'll take a picture and show you in the hive post so that it grew like I've ever actually had a weed plant grow like this too. Just fell over, that's all. It's just interesting. Interesting to go. Uh, I'm just going to chop some of these leaves down more. Let's cover crop down. So I've read get the flipping into flower I've read can help with fucking trips as well. But they are a pain in the ass, man. I'm telling you. I do think I just have them in my basement. And they're just a pain in the ass. I also think I might have some spider mites. But it is what it is. We're going to do what we can do. So. We're just giving this the water soluble. And molasses mix. And, uh, hopefully, we can get some ladybugs. And some predatory mites coming in here shortly. Right. I don't know, man. I love the 
flavor and growing organic, but I'm telling you, getting rid of pests seems to be a problem. So, you kind of want to bring it. Normally, I have it on a lower spray. You probably can't see it here. Let's drop the camera. Normally, I have it on like a this, just a sprinkle. When you're doing the compost or the solubles, find you want to have it on a higher spray, just to help it penetrate better, to come out more. It's just preference, but that's just me. So, if you're not, man, I'm telling you, Hive is the place to be. The uh, community is amazing. The blockchain is awesome. The technology is amazing. And it's just getting better, better and better by the day. Three Speak Network is going to be huge. It's going to, it's going to change the way that uh, decentralized video works, man. So again, we're going to pump in two gallons on this side, two gallons on the other side, and then we'll start a compost tea. So, I want to monetize, or I have a new idea for some, man this fucking sativa is huge, I have some plant ideas for, uh, NFTs to go along with my uh, series this year. I give them away, sell them. Uh, trying to make some digital NFTs with my cannabis photos, digitalize them and sell them, but just haven't seemed to be able to figure out the best market to do it. Splinterland's huge, 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 huge. If you've been watching and signed up, which I don't really get many people to talk, well, actually watch the whole video, I don't think. But uh, if you actually are watching and you've actually done anything, sign up Splinterland's, uh, I'm telling you, it, it, it's huge and it's just going to get bigger. It hasn't even started for it. People haven't even realized the potential of Splinterland's. Think Magic Cards, digital, limited quality, massive tournaments. Splinter Lens is going to be huge. I've actually started my own NFT gaming channel. You can check that out uh, on YouTube and on Hive. Three speak, of course. All my stuff posted under Skyline Buds. What else? I don't really do. I haven't done much in crypto, man. The hive has been my like life lately of crypto. You can earn, you can play, you can vlog, you can talk getting rewards like hive is like the cat's ass and I don't understand how anyone don't realize that so humidity wise we've kind of got low today I had the dehumidifier going that's probably why I should have threw it on a humidifier in the tent it's down to 45 right now it should definitely get higher Around 55 would be ideal. So, one other way we can do that. I'm going to slow the fan down. So, 
I'm going to finish watering and we'll be back when we go to make the tea. All right, so we're going to make two action, two teas here. Let me just trying to fix this tripod here. So, we're going to make Fucking tripod sucks. It sucks even more after I broke it. Bear with me here. Alright, there we go. Oh no, it really fell apart. Oh, fuck me. That's why I'm rated 18 plus, is because I do swear. So, if you don't like it, piss off. Too bad. It sucks for you. It'd be nice if I could get this damn thing to stand up just like that. Alright, whatever. Let's see if it can just stand against something. There we go. Apologies for that. So, what we're doing here is we got two. My big one burnt out. So we got two of the uh, air pumps with the big stones on them. So we got three big stones here. It's just clean water. And then we have just one. One, out, one bucket that's just clean water. So this clean bucket. I'm going to make a, oh see there we go. A Bokashi Pro Grip, Pro Grow Superfood. So we're going to make a, a soil soak. We're just going to do a gallon of it. So it's a quarter. This isn't even a gallon so we're not even going to make a full quarter cup. We're going to use a couple tablespoons because since we're going to hammer it with both teaspoon cleaned of course wiped off we're just gonna add so a teaspoon it's two so three of those is a tablespoon quarter cup is four so let's add four of these it's, it's only about a liter and we're gonna give it a stir and then it says to loosely Put the lid on. So we got a lid. And we just loosely put it on like that for 48 hours, it says. It's a 72. So this one's actually going to go in after. And uh, that is. We're supposed to be good until it smells like it's uh, brewing. So I guess until it's really yeasty smell. Now, this tea here, I'm not sure if it's going to work. Like, so, this is made out of kelp. So, this we typically like to use is kelp meal. I don't have any. Didn't realize that. So you can definitely use a compost tea bag, and it's definitely recommended. I have a strainer though that I use for now because I don't normally. Oh, it got it ruined. That's right. So, 
this is actually showing you it tells you to use a colder cup or two cups so let's redouble this size we're going to use a half a cup of this again it's definitely recommended that you use a compost tea bag but again I can just do this and then we'll just add this right to the top of the soil so we're going to add that You want to dry that off. And we're going to add the kelp. So we're going to add a tablespoon. So again, that's three of these. One, two, three. And from there, we got to feed it. The way we feed them is always with molasses. So, we're going to just add some molasses in there. And uh, we'll see. I'm not sure if this one's going to work. This is a kelp. We're just going to leave it. Our water's pretty dirty, but we'll start seeing... You'll see white foam if it works. about it so we've watered this nicely we've started our two peas and uh, the auto's cooking it she's loving life loving all the light this sativa is a pain in my ass and we still got the hooch going so tune in tomorrow for the compost tea, see if it works, or the vermicast tea, see if it works. And uh, I think we'll probably be adding part two of the clones onto it. So if you're not on Hive, make sure you definitely head on over. If you're watching this on Hive, 3SB, you're already awesome. If you're watching this on hot YouTube, head over to 3SB. I can't explain enough. Links below, man. Like. Yeah, if we all flooded, if we all took our cannabis content off of the centralized censorship platform of YouTube and moved over to Three Speak, it, it would be like we would take over the platform. So let's do it. Like, subscribe, head over to Hive. Peace.